Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this one, we're going to be doing the anchor base in chapter six. Let's get started. This one's going to be in inches. So go to file English inches, create. We're going to start to do the top view, which is XZ plane. So when you click on start sketch, make sure that you select the XZ plane. And if it rotates like this, just make sure that you do rotate it again. So we don't have to fix our part later. I'm always going to start with my two point center rectangle as always. And our length is four. And our width is three tab. And we're going to put our holes might as well do that now go to circle command diameter of these holes are 0.75 not sure what happened there but that's okay go to dimension 0.75 Okay, so both of these are in the correct dimension, but now we want to make sure they're at the correct distance. So this one is 0.75 away from that edge, and this one is the same. So click the center of that circle and then click on the edge. And I'm gonna just copy this line, dimension four. Both of them are the correct dimensions. Now it doesn't let you move dimensions when you're in dimension command. Notice how it's still highlighted. So if I right click, click OK, I'm out of the command and then I can move my dimensions around. Not too important, but just so you guys can see the correct dimensions. Now I already know this is correct, but I'm going to show you that it is correct. So I'm going to click the center of the circle and then click on this edge and confirm that it is 1.5. If yours is not 1.5, make sure that you fix that. I'm going to copy this dimension. All right. So we've confirmed everything. I'm going to wait and do that fillet in the end. So we're done for now. I'm going to click on home to zoom out. Extrude, and this one looks like it's one inch thick, which it's already there. We're extruding all the way in one direction, up, and then we're good. Now the next one's very important because I see a lot of people make this mistake of not drawing the next section correctly. So when you look at it on right side view, you're gonna see that circle here, the hole here, and then of course the design is coming like here, right? I hope you can picture that. So we need to make sure and draw it on right side on that plane, which is the Y, Z plane, right? All right, so to do that, go to start 2D sketch. And I'm gonna click here on origin and I'm gonna go to Y, Z plane. Click on that. I'm going to move this down and I'm going to start with the hole and then the outer um, the outer part of that feature. So the inner hole is 1.75 diameter and then the outer one it says a radius of 1.5 so this one's going to have a diameter of 3. The placement doesn't matter because we're going to fix that. Then I'm going to use dimension command and I want to make sure that these two are joined together there. If I move one, I don't want the other one to change. Yes, I know they're over constrained, but I don't care. I want to be safe. Okay, so the next thing is I need to place this where it's supposed to go. How do I do that? Well, I select my center point 
and I select this bottom edge here. So according to this, it shows that it's supposed to be three inches from that bottom. And I'm gonna click on the right side view so they can zoom out a little bit. And then the next important dimension is from this edge to the center. And that's why I didn't wanna fill it too early. So I can use that edge to correctly dimension my part. This one is five. All right. So next we're gonna have a line and this one is three. So we're gonna have a two inch line going here to here. Make sure that you get the green dot. And two, I'm oh, sorry, two, tab. Make sure it's at 90 degrees, which means it's completely flat. And we're still in the line command, so I'm gonna right click and cancel. You can click OK, it does the same thing. Go back to line command. I'm gonna click on this corner. And look for the tangent. See that picture with the circle with the line on it? That's a tangent. And from here, do the tangent here as well. There it is. Okay, and then we'll use the trim command to get rid of this half circle right here. Now everything looks good. So I'm going to finish sketch and you'll notice that when I click on the home, it's in the middle. And that's where I want it. Okay, so next part, extrude. We're nearing the end here. Notice how I extruded one way. So we need to split it. Since it's in the middle, we need to split it both ways and we use the symmetric. And this one is one inch thick, which it's already at. Click OK. Excellent. And then we're gonna use the fillet command and then according to this, it's one inch radius. So one inch. And I'm going to click all my appropriate edges. I'm going to click on this corner. Click on this corner. One, two, three, four. Click apply. Then I'm going to click my home. And that is it. This is our anchor base. This is a real quick one. I hope you guys learned a lot from this. Make sure that you click the like button and hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.